Alright, how's it going everybody, and welcome back to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight for version 1.7.2 of Minecraft. In this Minecraft Mod Spotlight, we'll be taking a look at the GLSL Shaders mod, which as you can already see, makes native Minecraft look a whole lot more beautiful and the textures just so much more voluptuous than they normally are. So right off the bat, we can see that the sun is more radiant, there's a bit of a blur on it, and the sky just has a more complete blue, and there's layers of the blue too, so we have baby blue here, we have a darker blue, and then it results kind of back to a lighter blue as you get around to the full spectrum we have water that has a sun reflection and the reflection of the land around it as you can see right here it even has tree reflection and one of my favorite parts right here is the waving foliage right here so these flowers right here are waving back and forth and unfortunately right now this mod is in beta so the tree branches are not waving as they normally do however that will be configurable within time now with this mod alongside all the beautifulness which it already brings to the table stock you are able to introduce your own texture packs to to it. Although you may have a bit more lag if you use an HD texture pack, you do have a much more complete Minecraft experience. So I'm going to use my favorite texture pack right here, which is DokuCraft. And DokuCraft has a very good look with Sonic Aether's Unbelievable Shaders, which is the specific shader that I'm using right now. So right here, we can already see that the water looks great with its reflections, the new reeds, and then the sun and everything looks more complete with DokuCraft for me. So if you're interested in seeing how to install GLSL shaders for Minecraft 1.7.2, to feel free to stick around for the installation guide. I will also provide Doku Craft for this version of Minecraft if you're interested in making your Minecraft look as voluptuous and beautiful as mine. But thank you very much for watching this Minecraft Mod Spotlight for version 1.7.2 of Minecraft, and I'll see you all very soon. Alright everybody, welcome to the installation part of this video for the GLSL Shaders mod. So to install GLSL Shaders, you're going to need three things. You're going to need to install Minecraft Forge, you're also going to need the Dodge R for the Shader mod, as well as a Shader Pack of your choice. As far as I know right now, Sonic's Unbelievable um, Shaders are the only ones that work right now for 1.7.2. So all this will be provided down in the description for you to download and make your Minecraft look beautiful. So first what you have to do is install Minecraft Forge, so to do this just have the installer on your desktop run it it may say it has a warning but don't worry minecraft forge is completely safe it's a very validity proof program even if that did not make sense anyways <laughs> the mod installer right here all you have to do is click install client and choose your path in which it'll install usually it'll go to your roaming in minecraft however if it's not just make sure to specify and once you click install client you'll be good to go so once you have minecraft forge installed what you need to do is type in percent app data percent to locate your roaming folder and this will happen if you've already installed it so what you do is type Type in percent app data percent to locate to your Minecraft folder. And now that you've installed Minecraft Forge and ran Minecraft at least once, you will have a mods folder. So in here, you probably will not have any mods if you've never used Forge before. However, if you have, well, you're probably already past this part of the video. Anyways, what you have to do now is drag in your GLSL shaders mod. Keep in mind that this is a .jar file. Don't worry if it's not a WinRAR zip. If it is, make sure to extract it because right in here, the executable jar file is the only thing that needs to be present. So once you have your GLSL shaders mod installed and put into your mods, folder what you need to do is launch up minecraft once and make sure that your forge profile is set up for version 1.7.2 minecraft so right here we have minecraft forge and it shows right here it's minecraft 1.7.2 forge if you're new with the whole profile system all you have to do is name it whatever you'd like and make sure that the directory is correct and here when you install forge it should be a drop down and you should have this release version of minecraft forge for for, for version 1.7.2 of minecraft excuse me so all you have to do right here is launch up minecraft and then once it's done the, there will be a new folder and it'll be called shaders now as i'm sure you can assume once we have this folder initialized all we have to do is put in the sonic's unbelievable shaders it's something else it's uh, Sonic's something Sonic Ether's unbelievable shaders I can't believe I forgot so anyways all you have to do right here is just X out because now the file has created go back to your percent app data percent folder right here and then once you're in your Minecraft right here all you have to do is locate your shader packs folder drag in your Sonic Aether's unbelievable shaders and then launch up Minecraft as if nothing ever happened so as soon as this launches up and we have our forge profile initialized we will be able to see how not only only that we have a forge profile and then the mods tab but we will also notice how minecraft is looking a whole lot better than it normally has so if you're not new to forge or if you are new to forge rather you will have some new mods down here in our corner of minecraft as well as a mods tab which will tell you all the mods that you have installed so we have our 11 mods right here i have some more installed and right down here we should be 
able to find ourselves our shader mod if I am looking carefully enough I have all my dynamic lighting mod stuff well where is it at you silly head you are sending me on a goose chase well anyways it's in there and it's working so all we need to do is go into our new world or any world for that matter and locate our shaders so once we're in here, we can notice how Minecraft is looking a whole lot better. Look at that, it's looking fantastic. We have our shaders tab right here, and our Sonic Aether's unbelievable shaders right here for version 1.7.2 of Minecraft. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, everybody. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a comment saying so. You don't have to like it if you don't want to or subscribe. That's fine. Just go ahead if you'd like to. Otherwise, have a nice day, and hopefully you enjoy your brand new Minecraft look. Well, thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you all very soon.